Hello there, hi, it's Julie Rockall here. I'm in my art studio, or studio at home, and um, I'm just about to do some wax painting. So I decided I would just show you what I was doing. Um, I've got my little, my big pot of wax medium, little burner. So I thought I would just show you what I was, just show you how I, how I would apply. Um, I'm doing a, I'm working on a new piece for a, um, a project called Transatlantic Fusing. So I've got this beautiful um, encaustic board, which a bit of a story behind getting that one, but hey, we're here now. Um, so it's basically a group of European encaustic artists and we're working with a group of American artists from um, New England wax group in America and uh, we're going to all work on our own boards and then we're going to respond to each other's pieces. There's a there's a blog about it on my website. Um, go to artyheaven.com forward slash blog and it, you'll see it there. If you look under the upcoming current and upcoming events tab you'll see it there. Um, depending on when you see this video. So yeah I've got my encaustic board. I've just warmed it so it's a nice warm surface and I just thought I'd show you how, as I was doing this I thought I'd just do a really quick live. I've only got a few minutes um, so I thought I would show you how I apply my wax. So depending on which way around, let me. I'm starting this. I'm try, trying to work out where my camera is um, is going. So let's go on board here. And what I'm going to do. Is I want to prepare my encaustic board with a couple of layers of encaustic medium. And encaustic medium is literally beeswax with a it's a it's called a Damar resin, it's a tree resin that um, that helps it raises the, the melting point of the wax. So I'm going to do a couple of layers of this. something in there so it's quite warm at the moment um and then what i do is i fuse this so i don't know if you can see as how this will show it in the light i really don't know so you can see the section oh where's my light gone where am i i haven't worked out the lighting and everything in this new in my old studio versus my home studio okay so you can start to see here uh hang on where am I? There we go. There we go. So everything is mirror image and it's, it's throwing me. So this is the side with the wax on and this is the side that is still on the board at the moment. So I don't know if you can see this or not. I know it's going to come out. It's all a bit clear at the minute. Hopefully you can just about see a faint line there, depending on how the, the light catches. But what I'm going to do, I'm just going to work on half a board for a moment. Um, and I'll show you. It's, it's going to be really noisy for a sec, so put your fingers in your ears or turn the volume down. I'm just going to fuse this first section that I've put on. I'm not going to do fuse the whole board because it's not great viewing. Um, listening to a hot air down in your ear. But, and again, I don't know how well this is going to come across on the camera. So what that has done is it's, it's, ah, hang on, that's a better light. It has heat, I've basically, what I've just done is I've, by heating that with a heat gun, it heats it up to a really hot temperature. And that kind of almost sort of bonds and binds that sort of first base layer onto the, onto the substrate. And I will keep on building up now. You, you just keep on building up adding wax and each layer of wax you fuse and you um, it enables you to kind of build all these layers so um i just thought i would as i had this burner out um i would show you my wax into a little bit closer i don't know how well you can see this so i've got my wax all nice and hot and molten here or it took it too much because i don't want to pour it over the place um yeah I've got my nice molten wax and I am going to keep on um, applying a couple of base layers. I love these encaustic boards, they're so nice to work on. A really great base to 
foundation for your painting. So that's my first layer and what I'll do is I'll go, I will fuse that now completely all over and then I'll put a second layer on this as well um, and then I can begin to, you can work straight on the board but I like to kind of put a couple of layers of medium and then I start to work it on top and work into it from there. So um, yeah I just thought I'd show you that part, well just whilst I have this, this part heated up, um, so I've only got a few minutes so I've got to go and have you up on the stage. But um, I just thought, as I said, while I have this piece out, oh, and this is what I was going to show you. Um, so, yeah, this is my wax medium, so I can pop this. It either can't, it's either in, this is a solid form, or, let's see, it's in pellet form. So I'm going to add that to my pot. So I need some more than like that. I've only got a little bit in there. So I'm going to pop some more medium in, let that melt. I'll keep on building up from here and I'll start adding my colours and my layers and we'll go from there. Anyway, um, just to quickly say, I was just going to show you this whilst uh, from my little home studio. I don't know if you can see this. Actually, it's a better camera angle. <clears throat> Thinking about it. And I'll just keep on painting my medium on and start to build my piece up. I don't know if you saw the blue and turquoise piece I shared with you, but that's what this is going to be turned into. So keep your eyes peeled, and I will be sharing pictures throughout. See you soon. Bye.